Baby, donde tú quieras, yo paso a buscarte. Tú espérame afuera, pa' si no llamarte. No traigas paraguas como quiera, va a mojarte. La tempestad. Welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing good. I am. Anyway, we're going to react to Manny Pacquiao on his childhood without shoes, home, and dad. So he's going to talk about his childhood. And if you're a Manny Pacquiao fan, you already know he had a rough childhood. Um, very poor, super poor, uh, you know, in the Philippines. So we're going to go ahead and listen to him, check it out, so, see what he has to say. We'll talk about it, you know, during or afterwards. But let's go ahead and check it out. I respect this man a great deal. I want to take you back to when you were growing up. Uh, you lived in really tin shanty uh, poverty when you were younger. How would you do. describe Still what do. you lived in when you were growing up? We didn't have our own house. We didn't have land. Uh, we don't have even food. We just, you know, uh, we have to work every day to, to make money to buy food. Just to eat? For the family. So even we're, we're too young to, to work, but we have to work. Like sealing donuts, sealing pandesal, sealing uh, flowers, just to earn money to buy food. How old were you when you got your first pair of shoes? I was yes. um, 12, 12 years old, yeah. 12. 12 years old for his first pair of shoes. 12 years old, can you imagine? Um, and as far as the working to eat, like, he had no choice. He had to. Or Him and his family is going to starve, and who knows at what age. You know, he could have been maybe probably five or six, and he's out there selling stuff um, so he can eat and so his family can eat. And that just, that just, you got to respect somebody like that because he's so humble, you know. We know, we know how um, great of a boxer he is. We know how much money he's made now, you know, he's made millions and millions and millions upon millions, but I know he also does a lot of good things. But let's go ahead and keep going on with the video. We'll talk about, about it more. Well, how often were you able to even like take a shower? Um, sometimes uh, twice a week. Uh, twice, twice a, a week, week, man. Hungry though all the time? Hungry, sometimes we don't have food to eat one day and just drink water. Just drink water? Just drink water. When the, the food's not around, I mean, are you constantly thinking about food? Wow. And thinking about how hungry you are? Yes, of course. Um, if we, hey, we have money man. to buy food, it's, uh, uh, I think it's not enough just um, for us. Just, we just cook the, the food and then uh, you know, divide to all of us. How do you think that impacted you? growing up, not having your dad around? Um, actually, I'm not blaming my dad. Uh, it's, uh, it's good for us that wow. our dad is not around because uh, we're not relying on our dad. We, we learn how to work hard because we're, we're all boys, so uh, we learn how to work hard. That's and amazing we, what you just go, said. Uh, to make money. And, 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 um, you know, in a nice way, and that's how we how we we get strong. So, you know, a lot of times nowadays you see celebrities all over the place, or just people in general. You know, they always have the excuse, you know, of well, my dad wasn't around, my mom wasn't around, I didn't have a chance because my parents wasn't around. And sure, having both your parents around is definitely going to help you. Um, you should always want that. But I can respect what he's saying, though. He's saying, by not having my dad around, it made me who I am today. It, it, it gave me strength. It showed me that, you know, this world's, he didn't say it, but this world's, the world is not fair. And you got to, you got to make your own way a lot of times. I mean, and, and when, when you do have your parents and you, you finally leave the house, you know, you make your own way. You, you get to experience what really, what life is. And what life is, it's, it's uh, getting over negative things. That's a big, th that's a big part of life. Um, there's always going to be negative things in your life, always. Um, nothing ever goes perfect. Some people want to claim, oh, my life's, you know, 
grand, everything always goes right. That's a lie. Um, we all have our problems. We all we all have our obstacles. And um, Manny Pacquiao basically just said, by not having my dad around, I learned how to deal with it. And I learned how to deal with it at a super early age. And I think that's one of the reasons, one of the big reasons why he is who he is today and why he became a champion over and over and over and over. Um, because... He, he had to deal with it. It was either deal with it or probably die on the streets. And that's where he got his strength. So amazing. Did you really sleep in a cardboard box and on pavement at times outside when you were growing yes, up? Yes, outside the, the street I sleep in um, with uh, <clears throat> the carton, you know, the carton, the box. We sleep there. What do you remember from that? Oh, I remember because uh, I understand we don't have we don't have house, we don't have money to 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 buy food. Right. But it's it's good. It, it's very good experience that I I'm I'm so thankful to God that I I I had experience. I have an experience that life, you know, before I get this life. Made him humble. What? Before I become like this, uh, my life right now. Uh, uh, I been, you know, I experienced that life that uh, to have nothing, and even even I have uh, millions of dollars or millions of pieces in my hands or in my in in my pocket. I still understand. I still feel the the hearts of the poor people. Right. Even if I am the richest man in the world, my heart never changed that I I always the feel the the hearts of the poor people it's worried, worried, worried the, they're from. feeling what what it needs they're feeling what to be what the feelings of being hungry that's how I aside from boxing I I enter the politics because I want to serve honestly to help the people and I want to to be an example to be a good example to the to the politician here in the Philippines, uh, how to uh, to be honest, um, to serve honestly to the people. Right. And he uh, he and just by watching this short little interview or part of this short little interview, um, you can see how much he cares for people. And that's amazing because a lot of times when you get the fame and the glory and you get rich, um, you lose that. You lose where you may have came from, who made you. And uh, the streets made Manny Pacquiao. The rough times made Manny Pacquiao. Um, that built who he was, his character inside. And um, like in this latest fight, you know, the crazy Bruner guy, I don't even want to even mention his name because his name's not worth anything to me it probably not worth anything to you that guy's a lunatic he kept he kept saying um i come from the streets i come from the hood this hood this hood that hood this um no 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 you didn't manny pacquiao came from the hood and what's crazy is the bruner guy i'm gonna call him the bruner guy I guess that's all he gets from me this is the bruner guy but anyway he's trying to glorify the hood who glorifies the hood you know like a lot of times when you talk about the hood there's a lot of negative things like when rappers rap about it or people talk about it they're like well we come from the hood and we didn't have this we didn't have that we had to sell drugs we had to do this um but the Bruner guy glorifies it. But that's not what Manny Pacquiao does. Manny Pacquiao says, yeah, I had these hard times, but that's what made me who I am. That's what made me, uh, that's how, it, that's how, that's why I'm humble, you know. That's why I care for the people that are still in my hood, you know, still in the places Manny Pacquiao lived. Um, and I know he's doing great things. I think I've seen something where he's been buying houses for people, you know, supporting them in, in different ways. Um, I think building a hospital. I mean, who does this? Who does it? I'll tell you who does it. Pac-Man does it. And uh, there's a lot of rich and famous people that wouldn't even dare do any of that. And I'm so glad that um, he's 
actually a governor in the Philippines, like he said, he can make a good example. Um, and hopefully good examples follow him because just like in every government, there's corruption. There's corruption in the Philippines, there's corruption in the United States, there's corruption wherever. Every government has it, but you can see his heart and his heart's made out of gold and it's made out of humble gold. So that's just so awesome. But anyway, I loved uh, watching and reacting and talking about this little short clip of the interview. Also amazing. Um, I think I've seen something where he wants his last fight to be in the Philippines. So I hope he gets his wish. I'm sure he will. There's many people out there that still want to fight him. And I'll be rooting Manny Pacquiao on when that day comes. But anyway, those are my thoughts, feelings, reactions. What's your thoughts? What's your feelings? What's your reactions? I don't know unless you tell me. So comment down below and let me know. And if you want to join my Max Reaction family, hit that subscribe button. Become part of the family. And don't forget to spread that peace, that love, that happiness wherever you go.